Fourth grade, once you have put your house on your background and you've done your fingernail check where nothing is popping up, you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna grab that other sheet that had a contrasting color, meaning a very different color from the color of your house. So if you chose a cold color, chances are your contrasting color is going to be a warm color. This step is very simple, but it's also very easy to make mistakes and I didn't print extras. So please, even if you know what to do and how to do it, please just follow the step-by-step -step instructions. That way uh, you won't make a mistake where you're gonna have to figure out a way to fix whatever happened to your picture um, because we, we can't make another copy. So go slow and you'll be fine. What you're going to be doing is you're gonna be cutting out your doors, your windows. You're also going to be cutting out the strips between the rooftop and the houses. So on mine, there's one here, there's one here. This triangle splits the top of my house from the bottom of my house. I have stairs. You'll be cutting those out later on with a different colored piece of scrap paper, but I wanted to show you that because when you're cutting out of this one, I don't want you to cut through any of those sections and wreck them and not have them to put on later on because it does add a nice effect instead of just leaving turquoise, turquoise, turquoise. It's just a great way to break things up. If you're unsure about what to cut or what not to cut, just raise your hand, I'll come over. I'll be glad to help you out. But I did bubble draw around each thing. So you do not have to cut around this super tiny small detail. Please just cut around the bubble cuts. Once you're done cutting, you can get rid of the big sheet with the rest of your drawing. And you can double check that it's going to fit on top of your house. And we're gonna go ahead and glue this down. Please make sure that when you're gluing, you're not gluing on top of your background. Please move the background out of the way. Flip your door over and apply the glue on top of the cardboard. That way you're not getting glue all over your project. For the rest of um, this step, you're just going to repeat. So I still have another window here, a window here, and a window here. And those are all going to be cut out of this sheet. But don't throw anything away. Don't rip this off. Don't cut anything other than the doors and the windows. Don't start cutting into anything because you're going to need those later on uh, when you pick a third color for your trim. So when you're cutting, make sure you're not cutting through your stairs, cut through the side of the house because the building we already have done. The stairs we don't. The rooftops we don't. So only cut through the building. So for this window, I'm just gonna cut here and around the bubble. For this window, I'm gonna cut here 
bubble cut for this window I'll cut in from the side around the bubble cut and for each one of those I will remove my background I will put glue on my shape I will place it down push and hold for five seconds and then rub it nice and tight so that nothing's falling off do your fingernail check and again very simple step just go slow make sure you're not cutting off anything that you're going to need later if you're not sure again don't cut just raise your hand i'll either give you a thumbs up or a thumbs down and then you can keep working on this step